So this is your fifth project. It is. Now, I've been listening to you, I mean, even before Profound Dope Sounds. We've known each other since Columbia College. Yeah. When you was Jay Bake. I remember. <laughs> I know. Like, I, I know. You know? But also in saying that, so much growth. So much growth. Right? And even becoming John the author um, and coming out with this record, Burn the Books. I'm like, how your name John the author and you burning the books? Right? <laughs> what does that mean? Like, what does... Where did the title come from and what does that mean? So, uh, for me, when I say burn the books, I'm talking about unlearning some things. Mm. I'm talking about um, throwing out the window all of the things that don't mean us any well. Mm. And it was it was interesting because me and Fess, we were, uh, I did an interview before we started and the dude was like, uh, the dude was like, yo, what does burn the books mean? And Fess was right there. And I was like, man, you know, because historically, you know what I'm saying? When they used to conquer other civilizations, they used to destroy all the artifacts and the books and everything. So burn the books. It's like, yo, we finna destroy they books. Dude. <laughs> and Fess started laughing. I'm like, yo, what you laughing at? He was like, because you, you, you saying stuff that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hold on, man, what you mean? Like, this is this from my heart. And then he was like, yeah, you know, John is, John is good because, like, he's authentic and stuff like that. But <laughs> what did you say? No, I, I, I heard Viola Davis say the other day that her rebellion was her authenticity. Mm -hmm. And when I think of you, I think more than, I mean, today we were talking in the back about how people sell blackness in broad strokes. And, and blackness seems to me sometimes real commercial, mm -hmm. real inauthentic. If people are being like, yeah, fight the police because it's the thing to do, not because they really build in communities that police cannot infiltrate. And so when I think of you, I think of somebody who is authentic from the inside out, not for social media handles. And so when I hear you say burn the books, it's what like, at least me, what I feel from you is, man, what you just said, we throwing out things that never meant us no good, mm -hmm. even though it came in the name of blackness. Yeah, so that's that's what the album is. <laughs> <laughs> and that, you, you, like, yeah, man, like, we got that relationship. Like, you know, like, man, one of the things I'm learning, bro, is, like, the last lesson that a master ever teaches a, a pupil is that the pupil has always been their own master. And like, this and like, guy. No, you know what I'm saying? Just, you just fuck me up. No, man. for real. I like, don't even understand it. Yet. I'm watching I'm this, right? It's still processing. Yeah. No, because I'm thinking about how we correct one another, like, like how John corrects me, and I, and, and it'd it be like egoless, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like so egoless that like it'd be hurting, and then we'd be having to get back to each other after the pride. Yeah, it'd be like. Yeah. <laughs> like and that'd be with me too. Like we we correct each other up. Mm, you know what I'm saying? And I, I think I think that's what's beautiful about the relationship and all the people here tonight is that it's it's a real family. Yeah, you know? I look around and I, I see, see all I see is family. I see family. Like, I see everybody. Everywhere I look is like, family. You know, yeah. This relationship that we built over the years, and it's like I personally probably invited like half of you guys because I wanted to see all of y'all faces. So thank y'all. Y'all, that's in. crazy. Y'all can make some noise for that. For real, for real. Pretty sure. And so you made an album about that. Yeah. So I want to go. So here's my thing. My let's just go to the intro. Let's just play some of that intro because I, I, I we got we got to touch on the intro. Mm -hmm. Let's just can you play some of that intro that gold mine. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, let's let's dissect this. And this is a matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a line on there I want to talk about. But go ahead, press press play on that. Let's let's get it's to it. Just different. I went from drinking and smoking and thinking and coping, acting, sleeping in the open, but secretly woken, drinking this potion, flushing out the helmets, get your helmets, victories in the air and I can smell it, can you tell if I'm lying or not, devising the plot, pulling the strings and tying the knots, just to lie at the top, I'm trying to unify community, wonder what's fueling me, no man can stop because God gave us immunity, call it lunacy, just watch as I move in unison, build a crew of down ass people to be congruent with, watch the politics, stay monotonous, Till it's time to drift, turn into a fucking monster like the lock of this. Walk on land, don't force my hand. Toss go blam, damn, I bet they want your plan. Shit, my shit is legal. I don't bother people unless you hurt my family. And I know where to find you, I'ma come and see.
seat. Whole time I've been sitting on the gold mine. Room full of neutrons on the proton. Pool full of cool vibes, I'ma go dive. Credit good, I don't need no fucking cosign. Boy, why the hell you acting like you know mine? Can I get my swag up at if you don't mind? They wanna hang me out the judges like a clothesline. They wanna take me out the sky, they free, I don't shine. But I shine like the sun on them. Be my drum on them. Just go put up the tip of on them. Yeah, I shine like the sun on them. Be my drum on them. Just go put up the tip of on them. Yeah, I shine like the sun on them. Be my drum on them. Just go put up the tip of them on them. Yeah, I shine like the sun on them. Be my drum on them. Just go put up the tip Ambition, hard living, transition, transmission, move forward with a bad engine. Lost lives, lost vibes, lost guys. Funny how I only try and find them with a lost mind. Cross line, burn bridges, invested with a firm interest. Halloween turned to a stern Christmas. Learn, listen, it'll never be the same. I lost my pops the same day that Jesus came. Let it rain and make my tears blend in with the showers. Watch how I show to the pain. Wonder how long my mama felt to this thing. Wonder how many niggas fell to this game. This shit ain't helping the dream. If anything, it's the relative's train. They never thought I'd be prevailing as king. See, I do well in this ring. Ask who the ruler, niggas yelling this cream. But they wrong. The real answer is unity. You and me commit atrocities like we got immunity. I'm too immune to be sickened by all this friction. You gotta be kidding. We grew up poverty stricken. Wishing for lottery tickets. Fishing for comedy vision. Trying to stay alert. Got my own disposition. They just listen and they assert. Pay the clerk. Get your receipt. Keep up with it. The price they keep on up in it. Freedom never was free as prices and heavily covered it. They don't know who they up against. I'm Jesus on the cross. But after three days of recovering, I ascend to a higher. End. Play the violin, only way the Messiah wins is let them kill you and never return to die again. They had the chance to advance and they took advantage. Fuck, I look like hanging out to dry from taking stances on the return like Moses to see my people indulging in worship and idol gods. First we defy the odds, only to even out the surface while serpents and while I'm gone. If that's what niggas on, then fuck y'all niggas, I'm gone. Whole time I've been sitting on a gold mine, room full of new trons on the pro time. Yo, so. So much heat, so much heat, so much heat. So, so yo, I remember you rapped that verse to me in a car, and you was like, "Yo, how you feel about this shit?" And and I remember like certain standout lines that was like, you know, you get them stank face lines, you're like, mm, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, and it was just some of them like, and and two that was super profound to me is one, you know, how you say you try to find, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing terribly, <laughs> but you know, you say you try to find God with a lost mind. Yeah. Which is super deep to me, and then the other one that I really want to touch on, you say, uh, Halloween turned into a stern Christmas. Mm -hmm. I lost my day. I lost my pops the same day that Jesus came. Yeah, yeah. Shit, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, yo. To <coughs> me, when he said transmission moved forward with a broke engine, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, like yeah. it just reminded me of how we move forward and we be traumatized. Yeah. Like, so we all in Chicago got some trauma. Right. And our transmission is, like, we go to work, we do these things automatically. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's our transmission. Yeah. But our engine be cracked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and, and like, what, like, man, bro, like, when you saying, I got, okay, my two questions is this, bro. <laughs> I got two questions, bro. You want to get to the questions quick enough, bro? It's cool. Uh, the questions is this, bro. Let's go. Number one. In a, in a world where everybody is so caught up with emojis, pictures, and just a vibe, how, why, why do you still use the words? And, and how, and, and, and what are the value of words to you? Mm -hmm. That that's number one. Because some some people would be like, I don't care about nothing, nobody's no words and raps. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Why are words still your thing? Number two is, what does it mean to you to move forward with a broke engine? Man, you know what? I was um, I was thinking to myself the other day about like you know, cause you know like one of the things that everybody's talking about nowadays is like mental illness, right? Like that's one of the things that people want to talk about. And I was thinking about that and how it relates to like the black community. And I was like, you know what? Black people are like, like we've like, it's people in our families who like who've like who's like lived their whole life with like mental illnesses and like they raised whole kids like with mental illnesses <laughs> right, like right, right. and it'd be like yo everybody else be like oh i'm a mentally ill i'm dying it's like niggas we be going through so much shit and we just like you know what i'm saying <laughs> and just be like get through it and it's just, that, that, to me that was like yo like look at how strong we is yeah. it's not okay i'm not saying it's okay but i was just like damn like Look at the shit that we done been through in this country. You want to talk about mental illnesses. Like, shit, we be passing that shit on our kids. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's like, niggas be 80 years old, still fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yo, move, moving forward with a bad engine. Mm. Mm. And why words? Because that's the only way I know how to write, bro. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even trying to. I, nah. I, yeah. When I'm listening to beats, like, the shit that I can do that on is what I pick. Yeah. You know what that's I'm dope. saying? That's dope. My question is, like, I think on this album in particular, I felt like you really opened up about personal shit. Mm -hmm. Even, like, the intro, you come up talking about pain. Like, why this time? You know what I'm saying? Like, why? What what inspired that? Um, Man, I'm just trying to be... Um, I, I, I use my music to try to be reflective, mm -hmm. you know, and talk about uh, where I'm at in life. You know, if you all heard my last album, The Rapper Who Sat By The Door... Like, that's when I was on my, like, revolutionary shit one-on-one. -on -one. Like, you know, I'm out here, like, you know, reading the books. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is fucked up. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, it was really, really politically charged, and I went through that motion. And now, you know, burn the books is like, all that shit I read wasn't right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all that shit I, you know, heard wasn't, wasn't true. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how do I um, balance back out? How do I recalibrate? You know what I'm saying? So, like, Fest got me straight out there. Don't burn all the books, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, some some definitely need to be thrown out the window. That's right. Um, but, yeah, you know, and, 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 like, with my personal life, like, in that line, you know, when I was talking about I lost my pops the same day that Jesus came. You know what I'm saying? That's like my father my father passed away on Christmas Day, two thousand sixteen. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I was at the crib with my lady and my kids. I wasn't even trying to like, you know, uh my mom wanted us to slide through. I wasn't even trying to like go and do that, you know, that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to just stay in the crib with my family. And it was that day, it was like, it happened. So that was really, really heavy on me. But, um, but it, 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 it was, that, that's what that line was about. Like, nigga, I lost my pops the same day that Jesus came. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you feel like that, the pain from that, because I know a lot of great art comes from pain. We know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of the best art. You think that really shaped this, this current album? <sighs> yeah, but I think that, we also, artists, we got to take the time to remember that we're human beings. Facts. Um, I, I know a lot of artists on this scene, and all they talk about is no sleep, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We right. out here, we trying to get on. I'm like, man, you still a human, bro. Go, go, go your ass to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, go get some rest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was hard for me, like, um, that year, to when I get a call to do a show, to be as ambitious and as passionate right. as I once was, because like niggas, some real life shit just happened. My brother just died three months ago. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still processing that, but because I lost my father a year ago, I know the last thing that my brother and my father would want me to do is to stop, you know, creating. Mm. You know, because I, I feel like people like rappers rap in my opinion when you rap you rap for two reasons it's either two reasons either you really 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 feel yourself like you you know what i'm saying like you you on your own dick you know what i'm saying <laughs> or you really 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 feel you have something to say mm -hmm. um or you can just be both you know what i mean but um i i felt I always feel like I have something to say, and I just do it through my music. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah. Yeah. So we. So what? What's the next song? Well, speaking about getting sleep, let's listen to that. Uh, Ain't enough time in the day. Oh, That's my jam. Mm.
video that I'm facing, pull a libation. All my life I've been running like crazy, trying to get to different stages, trying to flip the different pages, trying to flip the different angles. I'll admit the shit is dangerous. I've been getting sick of patience, not content with being caged. They, they told us we want shit for slaves, they come to find out we were ancient. Greatness all up in my bloodline Activated when the sun shines When it's on the cover of your blind times Don't give a damn if I'm going off of your rhyme time I gotta speak my peace, peace by peace They want us to be effective when I reach my peak I swear I need a child, but I just can't sleep Stay woke, but these niggas trying to creep out free And be careful when you fall king A lot of niggas sweat it deep, but only focus on the small things I'm just trying to get us what we all need So forgive me if I don't answer when you call me Enough time in a day no more to do what I'm trying to do So don't think, don't think, don't think I ain't got time for you Oh no, no I'm just trying to feed my people And when I'm not doing that, I'm sleeping Cause ain't enough time in the day no more Day long enough Ain't enough time Day long enough Day long enough Ain't enough time in the day no more No reparations, so we gon' have to take it We need our own man for the simulation I bought a table so we wouldn't have to sit at theirs On a budget so I couldn't afford to get the chairs As a man, I would rather stand Not for long, no, I got a plan Gotta get my girl to work for being A1 She been by a nigga's side since day one I ain't perfect, but I try the best I can, bro I never used to understand my pops till I became one Now a nigga got two kids Loving with all my heart, but the truth is Sometimes I wonder if I wanna move too fast But I guess every superhero got his new sense Just be my girl tonight, I gotta live from right Exemplify the way they amplify and get them to the ladder Simplify the major factor, like the rectify the strike Everybody want a deal, if it's real, you will pay the action price Cause I promise you this shit is not a game no more I'm a grown man, nigga, I don't hate no more I'm gonna say a whistle, I don't gotta say it no more Cause it ain't enough, ain't enough, ain't enough time in the day no more Ain't enough time, ain't enough time in the day I'm trying to do So don't think, don't think, don't think I ain't got time for you Yo You know, I when, when I when I hear you when I hear this song, it makes me think about where we are in the evolution of hip hop now. Where like hip hop is not just for your teenage son. Like you talk about being a father of two. Mm -hmm. You talk about like your you, the evolution of your family. And I guess my question is, what is it like being a father who is also a musician? So the same, and especially in hip hop. So the same way, like some people grew up, like yeah, my daddy used to be in the OJ's and play the guitar and blah blah blah. Like your your shorty, your daughters are gonna grow up being like, yeah, my dad used to rap. You know what I'm saying? Or my dad raps with woo woo woo, and that's gonna be looked at as jazz at that time. Like like what is it? Tell me about being a father and a hip hop artist because the media doesn't really put us out there like that. Well, um, what it's like being a good father <laughs> is, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's too challenging. I mean, I, I just try to like walk in my truth, you know what I mean? And, um, I don't think that, uh, as far as like those two worlds clashing, I don't think that it's even possible, you know, because for one, you have uh, two girls, I have two daughters and I have, uh. A lovely wife at home. Okay, so you having daughters, mm -hmm. and, and I guess when I'm talking about being a father, mm -hmm. how has having daughters impacted the lyrics in your raps about women? Oh, um. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what, what? Wow, like I was like the most ratchetest nigga in the you world. You was a little like ratchet, that. bro. Like, <laughs> Jay we all is. We all is. <laughs> I think we having, all got something to reckon Having for. kids is not what changed it. I think just me growing. You know what I'm saying? Me growing as a person. And having kids is a part of that, but it wasn't like, oh, shit, I got daughters. I, you know what I'm saying? Because I never really kind of like was disrespectful in my music, you know, towards women. I probably didn't get them a lot, you know, and then like kind of like now I'm, now I'm raising two of them from the ground up. I see and it. that don't impact your lyrics. It, it does. It does. Look, I'm finna say some dope shit. Listen. <laughs> 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 
it, 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 it does because I see like how precious, you know, uh, women are and I see like how fucked up we are because we be trying to take advantage of how kind and like beautiful and shit they is, you know what I'm saying? So like, that was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny dude. No, I mean, I'm serious. Yeah, like, I know. You know what I mean? Like, I see. Like at two years old, at four years old, you know what I mean. At five, my daughter, my oldest daughter is six, so you know I see like now. Um, I went to quick story. I went up to her school to pick up her uh, uh, report card, and some little some little nigga, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, walk like walk past and says hi to her, and she kind of like completely like blows me off, and I'm like, don't be running behind as well, you know what I'm saying. So it was like. <laughs> Who is he? He don't feed you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he don't take care of you. Like, but I see like um, how much women adore us, and how much they appreciate us, and how often that shit isn't reciprocated. No, but you you know yo, I was just thinking about this. You got kids? No, sir. Okay. Yo, this is. One of the one of the most genuine, like I was I was talking to my daughter today, mm -hmm. and I realized one of the most genuine loves a man will ever feel more than his companion may be his daughter. That might be like the most purest relationship between a man and a you woman. You're the only nigga who don't want nothing from you. And it's not it's not sexual. It's not conditional. Yeah. It's not. It's just like if you give me love, she gonna give you more love, like as a father. And like that's one of the most genuine relationships. With a with a feminine thing that I've ever had, and and she loves me so much no matter what, like like it it really made me change my raps. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like because it made me understand, and I, like I get what you're saying about raising girls makes you understand women more because you understand the genuineness of love. Yeah. from a woman you know what i'm saying that's yeah. not like based on tit for tat you know mm -hmm. and, and so i know from my daughter i know that my wife really loved me mm. i know that what me and my mama got is real what me and my sister got is real i know what a woman's love feel like yeah. you know what i'm saying and i think that that's something that because of broken cycles it's hard for black men to really ascertain mm. what genuine love feel like from a woman you know what I mean? And so, like, we all a little broke and crack engine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, I, I hear that. I heard that in the song. Like, when you talk about your kids, I hear genuine love and I hear a, a family cycle dynamic. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That I think, I just think it makes you really dope to me because you're a real human being. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Uh, Speaking to that, I think that's a perfect segue into one of my favorite records. Let's go to that same boat, man. Oh shit. Let's go. Which one? We gonna go. Same boat. Yeah, I think I think it's I think it ties in perfectly. Yeah. Let's get it. Oh, I love Yeah. 
I would pretty much bring them into the conversation instead of us just talking. Well, after this, we can bring them in. Yeah, so now, like, Still can't seem to reach you behind this wall that I'm up against. My first offense is fuck it, then never been one for scuffling. Aiming for your heart, but hit the surface, never puncturing. I'm not your op, it seems you often think the opposite. You act as if I smothered you, but really, I'm your op. Michelle A killed me on this song, bro. <laughs> Before I even get into my question, question, what made, like, what it, because Mich Michelle A is super dope. What made you pick her, like, for the record? I just been seeing her on the scene doing her thing, man. Yeah. And, and, it's, and her voice, don't her voice sound so dope? Yeah. yeah. So I don't, I don't know if she's here tonight, but, man, yeah. like, she, I heard her voice, and then she could actually, like, get down on the mic, right, 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 bro. Right, like, right. I don't even, like. <laughs> like so I was like, yo, I, I got this record I want you to do. Like I was trying to find something for her. Yeah. And then when I wrote my verse for this, I was like, you know what? Because I'm talking about some like some shit, and I don't want you know you know how the scene is. They'll call you a whole tap nigga quick as hell. <laughs> so you gotta like you gotta like balance that shit. You gotta how can I balance this shit? Cause they just wait. They look. You already got the dashiki on, bro. We look like they've been trying to call us whole tap niggas for a minute. So we gotta like. And, I, I, and, and, and that's and that's real. Ain't nothing wrong with Hotep. He was a good guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, we we demonize Hotep, man. Really, we, you know. Look, sound like a Hotep, nigga. <laughs> I'm Hotep. No, 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 okay. I am M Hotep. Okay. I think I think this song is so fucking impactful for it me. Is. Like when I first heard it, the video is super dope. You know what I mean? Like y'all on a kayak and shit. I'm like, nigga, you went all out with this shit. You know what I'm saying? If y'all ain't seen the video, I'm like this nigga on a kayak. Uh, but. I think the, he's, a ro he's a romantic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, th <laughs> I think the song is super impactful because it does kind of speak to the climate in which we are, especially in the millennial generation, of uh, like this unfortunate divide because you're talking about how fucked up men are, right? And hurt people hurt people. So it's kind of like this this divide of like, I, right, you know, we fucked up, we fuck up other people, and then it kind of creates this this vicious cycle. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And in this, you're like. I really like it because you're saying like, yo, I don't have all the answers. I'm trying to figure it out. And I think that's something that men need to do. Like something I was doing with my queen is like, yo, how do I learn to be what I'm supposed to be? Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of times we don't get taught that pops men may not teach that shit. Right. Because mm -hmm. then they learn from they pops and they pops are like, you know, what I'm saying just get as many women as you can. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. this fucked up rhetoric that we get taught generation generation and it's like at some point it takes a, a queen to come by like yo you fucked up you're emotionally unavailable you got issues mm -hmm. let's let's heal because women are naturally nurturing y'all naturally help heal and a lot of time it depends on whether the man is open enough to receive that healing or not yeah. so out of all of that i just want to say like what inspired this record because i think it's mad impactful and i think it's a conversation that needs to be had yeah um well that's what inspired it i thought that it was a conversation that needed to be had and i think what we should do um it's like probably like open it up, like let's bring y'all into the conversation. But um, what inspired it um, was I saw that it was a conversation that needed to be had. And I even said in the verse, like, don't want to seem like I'm overstepping, whole tapping, acting like I got all the answers. Now nah, I got questions, you know what I'm saying? Help me figure out where my privilege is. Cause for the longest I was lost in trying to find where my spirit lived, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, um, <clears throat> so like, that's me acknowledging that like, yo, I don't have all, I don't have all the answers. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no motherfucking answers. But I think that um, if we are gonna find the answers, men and women have to find them together. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we need uh, we don't need patriarchy or matriarchy. You know what I'm saying? Right. We need motherfuckers working together, nigga. What's up? When she said, uh, when she when I, when I didn't brawl that, um, when she said. <laughs> She said that uh, you think I'm trying to smother you, but really I'm your oxygen. 
when you heard that verse, you know what I'm saying? Because I, when I heard it, I was like, I was mad as hell. I'm like, girl, who you think you is? This is my song. Real shit, I felt that one right there because, you know, uh, nowadays you don't get uh, you don't get uh, love music as much anymore. You know what I'm saying? Even though that was a real conversation of uh, where we are at in our lives trying to work it out. You know what I'm saying? We are trying to work it out, and we don't have many examples, but I feel like you'll play a Lauryn Hill song and easily learn. You'll play an Eric Badu song and easily learn. You'll play a Jada Kiss song and easily learn. You'll play a... a Hold a, on, a, nigga. A, Wait a, a minute. Jada. You know what I'm saying? So when I hear this song, <laughs> when I hear this song and I'm, and I'm hearing knowledge like that, like uh, that, yo, I'm really trying to build with you. You know what I'm saying? Stop getting all defensive on me. She said, oh, I'm not trying to smother you. I'm trying to be the pick the air that you breathe. Mm. So I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me not, let me stop trying to push people away. I feel that, though. Being a hotel, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got to really... Yeah, but the dopest part, I'm going to, like, say her say her lyrics because she has some doper shit than that. She said, you are by far the hardest heart to conquer. Like, her... Nigga, like, come on, bro. And then cadence, yes. Her cadence, cadence is nuts. Is like, you yeah. are by far the hardest heart to conquer. I halt my harmful judgments just to be the one you honor. Pour my love in you and pray it reaps a fruitful harvest. Gently water you and remove the weeds from your garden. Shit. Bro. I was mad as hell. Now, what I'm going to do with this? This was like. That was a spirit coming through her on that. I say. You know, you know what though, man? When you hear stuff like that, it just reminds me of relationships. You can't compete with it. You have to reply to it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like lit and I think that's the thing about listening, right? Like we, we, we talked about like uh what we were taught as as men growing up. I, I do remember seeing a lot of bad examples from the men I grew up around. But I also remember when my grandfather tried to pull my, my tail to like some real game and I wasn't listening mm. because of what I th- perceived were bad examples. Like, man, who could tell you to not be an alcoholic better than an alcoholic? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's kind of like if a wino come to you and be like, hey, man, don't start drinking. You're going to be like, Psst. who is you? Like, sometimes a lot of men get to a certain age and they start being like, hey, young blood, woo, woo. And we be in the age where like, I know what I'm doing better. And then it makes me think that the only thing that we really can learn from is experience. Cause we ain't nobody listening to nothing nobody got to say. Mm. And we looking at things we were taught as we were younger, but we gotta go through, like I, I was thinking today, bro, back to my daughter, I cannot protect her from heartbreak. It's gonna happen. Only thing I could do is show her how to get through it. And I think one of the things where men mess up is we always trying to protect somebody from pain instead of help people through it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You just fucked me up with that one, bro. No, it's just what I be thinking. Like, we got to help people through trauma instead of trying to halt it because we're going to cause trauma for everybody like that, mm. including ourselves. <laughs> That's for real. Anybody else got anything they want to weigh in? Let's open it up. Go ahead, Abdul. In the video, what did you and the sister in the boat, what did that represent for you? having you and her on video going to both together. So, it was, so, I really wanted, like, uh, the intro, if you notice, I said, like, the way I see it, we came over here on the same boat. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I'm Mm -hmm. talking about the middle passage. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what that symbolized. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? I got a sister over there. I feel like it's interesting. Man, I work I work with a lot of different producers, man. Um, 
young guys, you know, who would send me stuff. And I would be like, yo, can I get jiggy with this? <laughs> and I'll rock to it. I'll rock to it, you know. Hey, yo. All right. Um, I just want to say thing. I, I did want to <clears> say this, though. Is I feel like... I feel like a lot of us are in balance, right? And that's where the miscommunication come in at. I feel like, especially when it comes to like men and women, right? Where it's like, men are taught you have to be this particular type of masculine, right? And women are taught you have to be this particular type of feminine. Whereas, you know, in my school of thought, you know, God is kind of both, mm-hmm. right? A balance of, equal balance of masculine and feminine. And so what I've recognized in my relationship is that, you know, she taught me how to be in touch with my feminine, right? Which is something nobody has ever taught Mm -hmm. and then her being raised you know with brothers she's you know i'm teaching her to be in touch with her masculine therefore we can kind of meet in the middle and actually have a communication and a dialogue because what happens is that when you're too masculine then you don't even understand each other Mm -hmm. or when you're too feminine you can't even understand a man Mm -hmm. so i think a lot of that communication is really we, we 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 be so broken and so traumatized that we never focus on self first before we jump into something Mm. And so at the very moment you say, I, right, I'm going to refuse. I don't give a fuck how slim thick she is or I don't give a fuck how cute his smile is. Like, let me really focus on myself and healing myself before I jump into anything instead of causing more chaos. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's my last lesson. You know no, but I, 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 that's 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 that's, 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 that's both. That's yeah, all across yeah. the board. But, but you know what? Like, like two men, men I want to hear sis. Yeah. But men, men. We don't give ourselves credit for sometimes we be more feminine than we need to be in a situation. And so what I mean by that is like this. It's balanced though. You got to find balance. Like as a man, if you feel like you got to respond to everything she say, if you got to have the last word, if you got to convince her why she wrong, like so, sometimes we think we so logical not realizing that, that what we are interpreting as our logic is really an irrational emotion. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so like I, I think – Men give ourselves too much credit for being masculine mm-hmm. when really we we hyper feminine. I you wanna, know what I'm saying? I want to like, hear. I want to hear from some more women. Yeah, sis, right there. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So you know how like you talk about the trauma, right? Well, everything is is what we project onto the other person. Like the trauma that you've been through, the spirits, the people that you attract to you that you like, is based off the trauma and whether you dealt mm. with it. Mm-hmm. So it's like when you're living your everyday life and you're like, okay, I really want to get better. I want to be the best version of myself, etc. You just be minding your business. Some guy, some girl comes up to you. They want to talk to you. You're like, no, I'm good because you're working on yourself, right? You're trying to be the best version of yourself. You don't want to project all your problems onto that person that when they do come into your life, you're not ready for them. And it's like sometimes people are like, when you're like, oh, I'm good. Like, I'm no, thank you. You're polite. They're like, well, why don't you have a man, or what's wrong with you? That's immediately, like, how people respond, like, what's wrong with you? You single, you nice looking, you got a good job, X, Y, Z. You don't have a man, you don't want a man, what's wrong with you? So I think, like, sometimes the perspective needs to change. Like, well, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like, she, maybe it is something wrong. Maybe she's trying to work through that, and she doesn't need you, or she doesn't want you to, you know, come in and infiltrate her and damage her even more. Mm. So I think, mm. you know, taking into wow. perspective that, like, Let's that. go. Indeed. What's up? I'll clap for that. Yeah, 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 all right. Yeah, go ahead. Can I respond? You are so right. <laughs> the hardest thing for me was to, to step back and say, you know what, I got daddy issues, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to get into a relationship right now. And I don't want to project that on him. And people don't understand. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, you don't, you, you're not married? You know, you don't have no children, but you're crazy. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's hard to really step away and be alone and get yourself together. We don't live in a society that 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 says that. You know, you need to be married at a certain age. You need to have a relationship. So society is not conducive mm-hmm. to, to healing. Mm-hmm. That's real. I feel that. So, mm-hmm. My homie, my homie, she feel it. I feel like that equilibrium is very important because that's what God created. God created us to 
have a balance. Like you need masculine, you need feminine. So us being at odds is what's causing chaos in the world right now. You can't have an equilibrium if both sides is chaos. You do got men like they over feminine. You got women because like how we was raised, our mothers they raised us to be like kind of too. De- I mean too independent that we don't need our men. But we supposed to have a submissive energy. That's something that our man needs. That makes them feel secure. They need us. We need them. Yes. And yes. I feel like as far as like everything they do, women have been taught to just discard them, use them for what's between their legs. We have become like, we have grown to be masculine in the matter. Hmm. Instead of like having that feminine nature, we gotta nurture them back to life. So they can mentally help us because men are the light, we are the darkness. And darkness isn't a bad thing. Darkness is what forms light because without the shadow, Science. Light. <laughs> Science. And then, like for real, that mm-hmm. trauma, like you just said that about your father because I grew up without my father. So I chose to be celibate. I don't feel like I need to be having sex with nobody because I wasn't like how y'all were just talking about that pure love with your daughter. I didn't have that. So every time I'm with a man, like I got commitment issues. I know that for myself. I'm committed now. <laughs> Do that. I say. Um, we gotta do. We do like one. Oh, see, you don't got everybody going. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I got something to say. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Um, that there is a, a big distinction, uh, a big difference between listening and hearing. And I feel mm. like there is a big problem with women feeling like we are being listened to, mm. as opposed to just heard, as opposed to anything coming out of our mouths and giving a connotation of every black woman and that it's just a gaslighting technique for our self-defense for ourselves. Right? Mm-hmm. And so using um, your platform that you have now, I want to know, like, and also in the irony of it all, how are you using your platform to encourage black men to listen to women as opposed to just hearing them? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see. <laughs> hey, I'm not. He me up. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to do that shit again. Let them process that. 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 Let John up here talking about his daughters and talking about his relationship. I mean, he didn't get up here and say he wasn't married. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you, and when you see his wife, she's a dark skinned woman with a wide nose. And I think that that is, my wife is right there. She's a dark skinned woman with a wide nose. Like, and, and, and we use our platforms, like, you know, like to, to talk about family. Talk about family. You know what I'm saying? And, and be the example of what, family can look like and still be cool. And I think I, I would say that um, I'm on this shit where, it's like, y'all know, like, I did the Black Economics. We start, I created that. And now I'm more so trying to lead by example in my mm-hmm. actions rather than suggestion. Because it's a lot of people who will tell you what you need to be doing, and they ain't doing that shit they sell. Facts. So it's like... When you see me out here um, doing what I do in, with real estate and I'm posting it online, that's leading by example, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like when you see what I'm, when you see me out here posting pictures with me and my wife and my kids, like that's leading by example. Cause I think that um, when I go outside and I have on my my work clothes, when I'm finna go do some work on a house or something like that, kids look at me and they they'll. They respect that more than when I come out and I got my fucking chain on and I'm on some rap shit. So uh, I think the best the best way to use your platform is just be visible. 
mm-hmm. and 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 just walk in whatever it is you you know whatever truth it is you live in because to me right now truth is relative the shit that i believed in last year i guarantee you it's like nigga, nah that was only... so it's just like whatever's true to me now i'm gonna like try to be that to the you know um, power i also think it's dope that you feature a female artist yeah and i think that you know you don't i think there's a lot of collaboration with male artists in chicago and there are so many dope female artists rappers in particular so many and so the fact that you you know iman is one of them she's one of them Uh, key she ain't say that though you invited her though to be a part of the project you Mm. didn't have to do that yeah i think that that is a great example of you didn't speak for a woman on that verse Mm. but a woman speak for herself that's true that's dope Wow. Wow. All right, let's brighten it up with brighter day. Um, brighter day. Let's brighten it up with brighter day. <laughs> this might be the. Huh? How you feel? Oh, you can play brighter. Okay. No, no, yeah, go ahead. No, no.